All right, here's an example of a finished piece and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go home and hit create new. That's going to allow us to, to choose a preset. I'm gonna use art and illustration and postcard. That's a nice wide format. Definitely selecting the landscape and giving it a nice title, something I can remember later on. I'm also going to go ahead and change the resolution. Instead of screen, I'm gonna go ahead and choose 300 PPI. That's gonna give me print quality. So here's my postcard that's technically called an artboard and illustrator, and I'm going to place a photograph on it. That's file and place. I have a great black and white photograph of Clara, which is what I'm going to use for this. Having a high contrast image is going to be best for this kind of work. And I've saved that already on my desktop. So I click on that and hit place. And then I'm going to click and drag over to make sure that it's the size that I want it to be on my postcard. Um, sometimes this takes a little bit of tweaking and moving things around by using the move tool. That's the top left corner. Or you can click on V on your keyboard. Once I have that selected, I'm gonna go and click image trace in the properties toolbar on the right. I am gonna choose three colors because I want this to be really poppy and just have three colors. And what's gonna happen next is the Illustrator is going to process this image. It's gonna take all of the range of values and break them down to three distinctive values. A dark is dark, a medium, and a light. And you're gonna see the effect in just a second. Sometimes this takes a little while, so you might have to be a bit patient. Once this happens and finishes, it's going to create a vector image for me. I can go in and choose each one of those individual shapes Illustrator's created by clicking on Expand. Once I click on Expand, um, it will be broken up into some groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Ungroup again when, when that's selected. That is available in the Properties menu on the right. So now I want to change some colors up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the black color. That's her shirt and it's connected to some other shapes around her head. I'm gonna go into the Libraries and Art History and choose Pop Art. I'm going to select the um, Pop Art color palette. It's Pop Art 4 and I can add it into my library by clicking on the file folder icon next to that color palette. You'll see when I go into my fill, those colors will be there for me to use throughout this piece. So basically all the work's really been done. I just have to select the different pieces and change the colors. So I've selected the black shirt and I'm clicking on the swatch of red and it's changing everything that's connected. But the amazing thing about Illustrator is to use the select tool and same. So I go to select, I go over same, and go down to fill color because I have lots of shapes that are the same fill color as my medium gray. And when I click on that, it will change all the colors at once. So that works the same before. I missed some black pieces of the hair. I'm gonna click on that, go to same, go to select, then go to same, and it's going to then select all those pieces and I can change the color again. This can really change your life in Illustrator from having to click on multiple tiny things. We'll do the same thing with the background. You can see right here, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna select it, and I didn't hit my select and same, so I only did part of my background. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna control Z that, and actually do that again. Select my background, Go in, select same and fill color, and it's gonna select everything with the same fill color. This can really change the amount of time you spend doing projects, and it's a wonderful feature in Illustrator a lot of people don't know about. Um, next, I'm gonna go ahead and add a rectangle in, um, the same color as my background from around Clara's image, just so I can fill in the whole background piece. And then I'll just adjust that so that it looks good uh, according to my postcard format. I'm going to add text by clicking on the text tool in the left toolbar and just clicking once. That allows me to really easily scale and change the size of text. It's different than creating a paragraph. And so I'm going to select that, write Clara's name, and highlight it and choose a font that I think that she'll like. I can go through and scroll and find fonts, or I can also search for them by typing them into the character um, toolbar at the top. Once I find the font that I want, um, I can grab the font with the move tool. I can rotate it vertically. I can resize it really easily holding down the shift key so I don't change the um, integrity of the font. And I can move it into the position I was thinking to put it in next to Clara to the right. What's so great about Illustrator is I've got this font. It comes out black um, originally, but I can go into my fill just like all my shapes and change the color. And I've got my preset color right there for me, so it's very easy to do that. I'm gonna do this again, but click and drag. So I have a paragraph I'm going to write. That's Clara's creative statement. And that's actually gonna fill me up with a full 
um, paragraph of text. I can then go through, select that, delete it, and type in what I want to have written next to Clara. This is great because it um, maintains the integrity of, a, of a paragraph instead of just a title, and it allows me then to um, to resize things and change some paragraph formats. Of course, if it's hyphenating and I don't like it, I can go under paragraph and change that as well. So a little bit of tinkering until I get everything just where I want it. It's really easy in Illustrator to move things around and really intuitive just like any other kind of text tool that you're going to use across all Adobe products. Um, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and click export and export as, and choose use artboards. That's important so I maintain the integrity of my space. I'm gonna keep it 300 PPI so it's high quality print for Clara, and we're done. We're excited for you to share your work with us on Facebook and all social media. Be sure to use the hashtag Adobe EDU Creative. Thanks for joining. <laughs>